Hi guys, it's Jo here from It's A J Life. How are y'all doing? When you are watching this, hopefully it will be New Year's Eve or possibly the day before, depending on when I get it posted and uploaded. So this is very much gonna be a video uh, talking about the new year, what I have in store for you in 2022, and also showing you a couple of the gifts that I received for Christmas. So if that sounds like your cup of tea, then stay tuned till just after this short intro, and I'll be right back. thanks so much for sticking around so as always the universe has guided you to this channel so don't disappoint it if you're new here click that subscribe button and the notification bell so you're notified each and every time I upload and we will start out today's video with a new year positive quote like we always do but this one is for the new year and it is I hope that this new year reveals to you that you are unlimited in potential you are so loved and supported regardless of who you are or where you are on your journey you matter and are an important part of the planet you are strong and you are resilient you are capable of anything you devote yourself to and your medicine is needed your authenticity is your power you are enough exactly as you are and have nothing to prove to anyone love that quote so i'm taking that into the new year with me if you follow me on my instagram at joe underscore average i'll be posting that one probably tomorrow for the new year so yes guys hope everybody is well sadly i am feeling a little bit under the weather not looking <laughs> Not looking the greatest. Um, I have been put enough and putting off this video. If I'm talking through my nose, I do apologise. I have woman flu, down with woman flu. Honestly, I was up all night. Like, well, I say all night, from about half four, I woke up and then that was that. And then I took Carvonia, which seemed to break up what was on my chest, and I was coughing, spluttering. I came downstairs and I was watching Brody, I was watching your Christmas unboxing. <laughs> about half past six this morning and you tripped to Winchester as you do I haven't commented on it yet because like I say it was half past six and I was watching it on TV I tend to watch a lot of YouTubers on my TV so like I watch and then forget to actually like and comment but I am watching <laughs> but yeah I am um, oh had a bit of a bad night, then half past six, I must have gone into a deep sleep, like I have been doing recently. And then the next minute, it's half past eleven. So I wish downstairs and I put a chicken curry on and put it on the slow cooker. So hopefully we've got that for tea. And hopefully it might fight this cold, because at the moment we're supposed to be going to the panto tomorrow. Uh, we were worried, we thought it might get cancelled. But now I think we're all wishing that it got cancelled, because we've all got these colds. It came from my sister, thanks if you're watching. <laughs> and my sister's tribe they have given us this cold but yes i have been doing uh, the lateral flow tests and it isn't showing as covid it's just showing as a general cold but yes could do without that to be honest especially with it being new year so we had front row well we have front row seats booked at the pantomime for the afternoon matinee on uh, new year's eve and then we have um a meal booked at our local pub, well I say local pub, the pub in my mum and dad's village where I grew up, which is a lovely pub and we had a meal book for there but I think we're all feeling a little bit under the weather to be honest and I'm not sure whether or not any of us are feeling up to, you know, it's a bit awkward isn't it, you don't really want to be sitting in a pub kind of coughing and sputtering everybody looking at you so... Anyway, I will show you what I got for Christmas. By no means am I showing off here or anything. I'm just merely showing you what I got. So, first and foremost, the pickup. I got these beautiful Pandora earrings that match a ring that my mum bought me in March for my birthday. Mine the double chin. I then got this gorgeous necklace. Now I had this necklace, it's like a side cross and 
I snapped it, <laughs> I wore it, because the thing is with me is, once I get a necklace, I literally leave it on, I very rarely take it off, and I was brushing my hair one day, and it came downstairs and it just fell on the floor, and I was quite devastated, so my mother-in-law re-bought me this gorgeous side cross necklace that I absolutely love, got the Pandora earrings to match my ring, which my mum got me in March for my birthday. I haven't got the ring on, I should put it on, it matches perfectly. I haven't got the ring on because I must have been hot wearing a mask because in, Mar in March 2021 20 we were still wearing masks an awful lot. Well, we are again now, but you know how it stopped. We, we were wearing masks and I must have gone to the Metro Centre shopping with my mum, been boiling hot. Um, and then the ring, when I actually put it on, it just spins because it's quite a big base. Like I wear it with my engagement, with my wedding band, because my engagement ring needs, it's white gold and it needs replating. And then my eternity ring that I got for my 10 year wedding anniversary in 2020, when all of our stuff was cancelled, I ended up getting an eternity ring and the stone fell out of it. And I've never had it put back in. So. Yeah, so I've been wearing the ring that my mum got with, like, a, a, as if it's like a wedding band. But, um, yeah. <laughs> it's too big. Can't win. So then my mother-in-law got me, I'm not a massive chocolate eater, but if I'm going to eat any kind of chocolate, it's going to be either kind of Galaxy Caramel or Ferrero Rochers. And what I love to do with these is just bite the chocolate and the, um, the nut outer ring and try and keep the rest intact if you don't know what I mean that's how I like to eat them so <coughs> sorry guys so yeah got them then I got these lovely slippers that have like a diamond diamante front from next off my mother-in-law they're like a navy blue which is nice bit of a different bit of a change to the colour black I have drank this, but then I got, this is probably my favourite brand of wine. They do it in white and rosé, but I'm a red wine drinker these days. I've gone, as I've gone th throughout my life, I've started dry white wine, then I went to rosé, then I've got full circle to a really full-bodied red, it's quite bizarre. This was the coffee one. I absolutely love coffee. If you know me, you will know I love coffee. And I thought I would really, really like this. And I have drank the bottle, but I'll be honest, I wasn't that keen. <laughs> I basically like their red wine, to be honest, out of all of them, because they do a rum barreled one as well, which my sister loves. And I thought she'd quite like this and find it quite individual, but apparently she'd already tried this. I've never seen this one. But yeah, it's a coffee one. So it's the deported red blend infused with a shot of cold brew coffee. I thought I'd love it and I didn't like it. Next you know, up, off my brother and sister-in-law, we've got this, which is a Next Collection Lux Reed Diffuser set. Now, I absolutely love this because it's sundown cocktails on the beach, beautifully lush. Stroll along, along the beach boardwalk, laid back and peaceful. An ocean drive beach walk, walk bright, I can't get my words out, can I? Ocean drive beach walk, bright and warm. They are totally my kind. Is that showing? Is it this light in here is a bit bright. Um, they are totally my sense, absolutely. Miami, Bali and Antigua. So they're, both, they're all bright, vibrant, fruity, tropical, warming, tropical, fruity fragrances with mangoes and coconuts and pineapple and vanilla and all them kind of lovely scents. So I'm really looking forward to getting them out and trying them. Next up, I got this really cool on air which i just thought was amazing on air light which i haven't had out the packaging yet it's a wall light so that'll be going up somewhere probably in my editing room so if i ever do i've been posting a lot of videos out of this room because everybody seems to like like the vibe i get lots of comments off everybody whenever i post from here saying how much they like the background and everything so but i really do like this so when i do post like i used to from my 
boudoir <laughs> that'll be on in the background somewhere I really like that that's so cool next up I got some Ugg slippers at long last I've been wanting some Ugg slippers for ages and my mum came up trumps and got me these ones so they're them there absolutely love them <laughs> they're really cool actually um there were some others that I like, but these were cheaper, so I went for these ones and um, said to my mum, yeah, I like them. Um, they're really hard sole, actually, so um, I know, I think that's the whole point why they are so expensive, because you can actually go out in them. I don't think I'd wear them out, maybe pop to the shop with them on, but yeah, the greatest slippers, so I'm just putting it on my other foot because I've been sat with one cold foot on this uh, porcelain floor. <laughs> But yeah, absolutely love them slippers from Ugg. Really, really nice. I like love my slippers. I then got two sets of pajamas, but in the everyone's style, I've worn both, so they're currently in the wash. So I will insert pictures. So I got these Barbie pajamas. Now these are from Boohoo, and they say Barbie slay all day. Absolutely love these very much true to size i sized up and i got them in a 24 and i didn't need to size up i could have easily got them in a 22 and um, they are actually quite baggy and quite big on the arm but i love my pajamas to be bigger which is why i always would size up anyway but you know if you're humming and because i know boohoo can sometimes be a bit or with the sizing you know just get them in your regular size like your bigger size and you'll be absolutely fine so yeah, absolutely love those. If they're still available, definitely recommend getting them. Next up, we've got the Chelsea Tears pyjamas here. These are cat cacti pyjamas. I couldn't resist showing them to my mother-in-law and thankfully she managed to get the last pair that was in stock. So I generally have a little mooch around, see what I want and kind of send little ideas to people and then I get what I get. <laughs> and then a couple of, um, obvious surprises in the mix as well people always say i'm really difficult to buy for and i don't think i'm difficult to buy for i love buying for people so um every christmas i always do get annoyed in a way though because i do think like christmas is about children pre predominantly um and also you know i struggle because i've got so many birthdays i've got jasmine's birthday my mom's birthday my dad's birthday my brother-in-law's birthday my uncle's birthday my niece's birthday my sister-in-law's birthday, who else's birthday? I've got like seven or eight birthdays in December and January. It's just quite a lot. And sometimes you know, I'd be quite happy not getting receiving anything and just having a lovely kind of Christmas with my family. But I do understand why people like to gift and I'm happy to go along with what people want to do. But yeah, I actually, and I, but I enjoy buying people. So every Christmas, like I buy for my mum, for example, and I buy, 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 buy for my mum. And then I'm like, oh, I've got nothing for my dad, but I've got loads for my mum. Oh, whoops, what am I going to buy for my dad? It's quite funny, actually, this year. I missed out on the Degusta advent calendar when it went on special offer because I had a lot going on and missed out on it. And then thought, why am I going to buy my dad now? That was my idea for him. So I got him, so I was getting him some pyjamas because he doesn't like aftershave. He doesn't like, he doesn't drink really anymore. He doesn't, he just doesn't have a hobby. He doesn't, you know. And he likes expensive things, so he likes Tommy Hilfiger and Gant and things, and it's like, okay, I'll get him a Gant jumper, and it's like, okay, that's £95 for a polo shirt, no, no thanks. <laughs> so it's like really difficult to buy my dad anything. So this year, I thought it would be really funny to get him a, a food box, a surprise, snack surprise food box, and it came from Hungary, and... It had some very strange, like, rice poppy sweets in it and a sucky thing. <laughs> I was like, sorry, Dad. The thought was there. He just kind of was like, what is this? I was like, I do apologise. I tried. Next but up, I got this gorgeous molten brown set. Absolutely gorgeous, this is. So this was actually a glossy box thing that came up. And... That's what it's packaged like inside. And I can't remember how much it was, but it wasn't expensive as such as it as it goes. And I said to my I said to my mum um a couple of months ago, I said, I hope you don't mind, but 
I've got my mum's card, you see, because I buy a lot for her because of her eyesight's quite bad. So I said, I hope you don't mind if you get a notification on your phone. <laughs> I've like bought this um, glossy box thing. You can put it away for me for Christmas. I've forgotten all about it. So it's got a orange and bergamot hand lotion. It's got, I mean, they're all kind of, what, 100 mil kind of sizes, apart from the, the, the hand cream's full size, because I've got that hand cream already. It's gorgeous. And then the little perfumes are just little 100 mil perfumes as well. But it's got an orange and bergamot hand lotion, which I can't wait to try. It's got an orange and bergamot hand wash, so that'll be going in my ensuite. Then it has got a molten brown recharge black pepper bath and shower gel. It's got a heavenly ginger lily hand cream. Oh, right, I hadn't realised that was ginger lily because it's the same as the rose one. I haven't smelt it. I won't open it right now because I've still got some of my rose one left. But yeah, as you can see, that's a really a really good size hand cream that one it's not small or anything i mean they're all pretty decent sizes they're not like the really really small ones that you get often when you stay at nice hotel they're all that little bit bigger kind of ideal really for taking away for maybe a week's holiday somewhere i absolutely love molten brown I just do and then that is the hand cream so it's celebrating 50 years of molten brown it said. So then there was a fiery pink pepper bath and shower gel, neon amber bath and shower gel, a neon amber body lotion and then there was two perfumes, fiery pink pepper and orange and bergamot eau de toilette. The fiery pink pepper is a perfume or a perfume and the orange and bergamot is an eau de toilette. You know, Absolutely. That was such good value. I can't remember, but I'm sure it's less than £30 or £30 and thereabouts when I ordered it for myself. <laughs> but you know, my, my mum and uh, my mum and my mother in law they say like they would prefer that I I buy my I, I tell them what I want and get what I want. <laughs> it sounds so bad though, doesn't it? Then I got this, which I sent a little kind of, oh, this looks nice, <laughs> to my mum. So this is from, I think it was from Etsy. And it's the themeparkcollection.com. That's the website, www.thethemeparkcollection.com. And these are one, two, three, four, eight wax melts. So there them there. Um, so they just come in these little pots. So we've got Artifan Animation, um, a Boardwalk Resorts Gingerbread Martini, Contemporary Resorts Eggnog Fudge, International Festival of the Holidays, Red Velvet Mouse Waffles, Santa Claus Merry Motorcade, and Very Merriest After Hours, and Wilderness Lodge Christmas. Now, I... I've been to Disney when I was very, very young and, you know, <laughs> I would never be able in a month or some days to remember any of the smells or anything. And when we do go, hopefully, in 2022, we are actually doing Universal, Orlando, Islands of Adventure, Busch Gardens, Tampa, SeaWorld, Aquatica and Volcano Bay. So we're not actually doing the whole Disney thing, but hope, but I still love Disney. So, and hopefully we might get down to Disney Springs and might be able to check them out. But that is just absolutely lovely. Like, I just, all of the smells just sound like gingerbread martini and eggnog fudge. I just can't wait to like them. <laughs> then, for this Christmas, for the first time ever, me and my hubby, oh God, my voice. <coughs> for the first time ever, me and my hubby did Christmas here. So we had all of our tables set and everything. If I've got any pictures, I will insert them so you can see. I didn't take that many pictures on Christmas Day. I meant to kind of maybe video it and I just didn't. Um, it's Jasmine's birthday on Christmas Day, so we have an awful lot on. But when my mum and dad got over here, there was this bag in the middle of the room. <laughs> 
And because it's Jasmine's birthday and it's Christmas Day as well, you can imagine all of the gifts and the presents and everything strewn across, you know, the nine, ten, well she's ten now, ten year old's birthday as well as Christmas. So it's a bit chaotic to say the least and we normally open her presents on Christmas Eve and I don't know where my mind was. It's not where it should be at the moment, I don't think. <laughs> Scenty. But I invited a couple of people, just family, and said, you know, if you want to come round on Christmas Eve, see Jasmine for a birthday. If we're not seeing you on Christmas Day, you're more than welcome. And she'll open your presents then. And that's kind of what I do. I don't make it into a big thing, but generally speaking, it's like, you know, if you want to, you can. So generally, um, my husband's mum will come and my husband's sister and her daughter or family will come over and she'll open a few presents and they'll watch her open the presents that me and Steve have got. I just totally forgot to get them out <laughs> of the box upstairs in my boudoir <laughs> that they've been hiding in for about a month there. <laughs> and it honestly, it was so funny. They were just sat in there and on Christmas morning, I, I, like, I didn't realise, I'm thinking, Where's half of when? And I thought she never opened them yesterday. <laughs> it's like, duh. So anyway, so she came down. There was all of them presents as well from her birthday that she would have normally opened the day before to get them out of the way. So there was all of them. And then there was this bag and it said, oink, oink, let me out. Well, cut a long story short, if you know me, you will know I absolutely love Percy Pig from Marks and Spencers. I have every single time I go in there and I see one of the reusable bags and it's a Percy Pig one, I buy it. I just love Percy Pig. I just, I always have. He's become a bit of like a character now. Um, and he was on all the TV adverts this Christmas, but I've loved him for years before he was famous, if you know what I mean. Um, well before he became a famous pig, I loved Percy. You know, when he was just a sweet in the shop that, you know, most people didn't know about. Yeah, I love Percy. Anyway, I saw this pig <laughs> with my mum in like October when we were shopping. And I was like, at the checkout, it was the last one. And I was like, mum, look at this. And mum was like, you want it, don't you? And I was like, oh, I really do want it. And it's the last one. And my mum said, oh, go on then i went no no i'll put it down because steve will go crazy if i come home with a giant percy pig so anyway i put the pig down but then when i went to, i was packing my stuff i was saying look at it mum i'm going at you <laughs> i'm silly like that anyway quite a long story short my mum had then kept going in to marks and spencer saying have you got the percy pig and they kept saying, oh no, we don't think we'll be getting any back, any more in stock. So she kept going in. Every time she went in, apparently, she'd ask about the Percy Pig. Anyway, the woman said, she got, must have got a really helpful lady in there one day. She saw, you know, I'd really like to get it for my daughter as a surprise. I mean, she's only 38, but... <laughs> um, the woman said, you know where? We're not getting any more in stock, we've been told it. But there's one at the door on the display and she went this was the display Percy Pig <laughs> so that's what my mum got me so that just means so much because she really went out of her way to get it for me bless her so it says on its little ear here it says um uh, what's it say limited edition Christmas 2021 Percy Pig <laughs> and that's what I'm on about when it comes to Christmas and presents it doesn't matter how much you spend it's the thought and sometimes the thought means more than anything doesn't it so anyhow so that is what I got for Christmas predominantly and I got bits of other bits and pieces and socks and, and whatnot of people so thank you very much if you're one of the kind people that got me a present I really appreciate it I think I've haven't left anything out. I do apologise if I have because obviously it's been a couple of days since Christmas. I've not been feeling great so I haven't kind of felt like uploading anything. But I'm going to show you my Christmas lights outside which I've been meaning to do since before Christmas when I put them up because they are quite cool it's get time to get dark so I'm going to insert that there in, in a little while as well. And then 
Just quickly before I go, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about what we have planned for the channel in 2022. So obviously very much a bit as we have been, a bit all over the place, a bit of lifestyle, kind of unboxing videos, shopping videos, all that kind of thing. But one of our big ones for this year is going to be our holiday to Florida, hopefully. So it's going to be a full on series of Florida vlogs. So, like I say, if you're interested in that, we'd have a travel day, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, if we actually get, because this was supposed to happen in 2020, 2021, and yeah. So, my friend, who's called Michelle, and is from Beauty Has Been, I think that's her channel, Beauty Has Been, I will link it down below. She recommended one of these ages ago, so I bought one ages ago. So it just sits around there, it needs charging actually, I don't think it'll come on. But it blows air from up here. So obviously I'd have my hair around there. So yeah, you will probably see me walking around Florida like this. <laughs> oh dear, and hopefully I might lose some weight before we go as well. Because <laughs> that is a concern. I've forgotten as well, we're doing Discovery Cove, we're doing a dolphin swim. That was Jasmine's birthday present last year, wasn't it? Yeah. So I managed, because I lost the tickets and they were a Black Friday deal, we managed to get them again, similar, a little bit more expensive, but not too much more expensive than the Black Friday deal. And then we got Gatorland as well, didn't mm -hmm. we? Included with the tickets, as well as some other free f freebie things, like uh, discount things with different mm -hmm. things and stuff. So so yeah, so hopefully we've got Discovery Cove and a dolphin swim as well to show you in this next year coming. But anyhow, we will leave you there with a clip of our Christmas lights outside, which I'm going to go and record for you now. And we wish you all a very good, prosperous a new year. And we will see you all in 2022. Bye.